Yo, welcome to the Dynamite Review. Honestly, this is one of the most shocking reviews I've ever done. Because Pac returns. He finally returns from England. Now he returns. And he turns face. From doing two face Eddie Kings. And just for just to see in the title, Pac turns face. So yeah, AEW Dynamite started off with Darby is the new Darby went in as a new TNT champion and then Team Taz promo and then Brian Cage versus Matt Seidel which was the first match of the night and Brian Cage wins and then Team Taz did another promo on Darby and Cody and then Cody did a promo on Darby you know like wishing for his beer match until this random ass woman showed up named Jade Cardell and he says you're the and she says oh if you're the giant slayer then there's one giant you haven't slayed, and she said, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Everybody in the voice chat was literally popping so hard for Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal is what I'm talking about. Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. And, yeah, then Brandy goes off Jade, and then Brandy gets her ass, ass touched by um Jade. And, and then literally a lot of horny people on Twitter are literally going to thirst for um this Jade girl. Either way, then Team Taz attacks Cody, and then Darby attacks Team Taz. And then Will Hobbs was a little late to the equation. Will Hobbs. Now we have to go to the bunkhouse match between Butcher and the Blade versus the Natural Nightmares. The Butcher is the most valuable player in this match. So, yeah, not even in the beginning of the match. Oh, well, yeah. It was pretty good. Dustin hit like, uh, hit, hit like a slam onto a chair to Butcher. And then QT got busted open when the blade grabbed a guitar and bashed it on his head. And then Dustin Rhodes did a bulldog on the butcher to a box, to a cardboard box. I don't know, to a box. And then the blade was busted open. And then QT hit an elbow from the top of the ladder on the blade. And the blade is on fucking mark for kicking out a two. And then... Ali started interfering, and then that literally costed them when QT pushed. Yeah. Ali lands on a table really wrong. And then QT performed two cutters on each, the Butcher and the Blade, and the Natural Nightmares win. And then we go through the MJF induction. Inner Circle and Dr. MJF except Ortiz and then there was Jericho's birthday and then MJF invited the, the whole Inner Circle to a casino thing and Sammy gets revived. We'll talk about that later. Top Flight challenges the Young Bucks next week now for the titles and then we have Sean Spears versus Scorpio Sky next. Sean Spears won by cheating. They, he won by cheating. When he get that metal plug in his glove and then he hit Scorpio Sky with it. Now Sean Spears better be in the rankings. And it's Kenny Omega interview. I didn't listen to it. And then the next match was Ty Conti versus Red Velvet. Ty Conti wins. His Macy, the Brandy versus Anna J rivalry is continuing. And honestly, I'm not looking forward to it. And then we have Sammy. Sammy Guevara got revived from the Elite Deletion. I thought he was dead. And then MJF gave um, Sammy a ticket to Vegas. And then Sammy, they're going to turn Sammy face. They're literally going to turn Sammy face. I'm just going to call it out there. Sammy's going to turn face. And then there was an Eddie Kingston promo before the really good match between Ray Phoenix versus Pentagon El Zero Mia, though. And then this was a fast-paced match, honestly. They knocked each other out by kicking each other. And then... Phoenix almost gets his mask ripped off, ripped off, and then Pentagon got his mask ripped off. And then these final moments was when package when Pentagon hit, hit Ray Phoenix with a package power driver in the hardest part of the ring, the apron, and then hit a Canadian dis- destroyer on the outside. And then Pentagon hit another package power driver to the in the ring, and Pentagon wins. And his promo, he says he he doesn't Pentagon doesn't need that dead weight, meaning Ray Phoenix, and then Pack returns pissed off because they were if you did not know lucha bros and pack were in the death triangle and pack returns and literally is a face he just out of the blue he's a face and they're saving the match with eddie kingston because eddie kingston is not medically cleared and pack over here he's gonna face the blade next week 
So yeah, that's it for the review. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. Share it to all your friends. That's it.